Hey YouTubers, it's Nick540 again, and it's that magical time of year where I count all of my medals from the previous year. So this is my full stack 2014. I do it usually around January 5th, and I'll tell you also about my goals as well as my total count, um, and I'll go through what I have here as well really quickly. I'll try to make this as quick as possible. It might have to turn into two parts. Um, I'm sorry about the lighting. I live in a very bright apartment here, so you're going to see my shadow as well as glare on the metals. If you do want to see anything in a future video up close, just write in the comments below, and I'm happy to do a video on that. Um, also, stay tuned. I was just in Costa Rica, and I went to the Pre-Columbian Gold Museum, so I have some fantastic shots of some amazing gold, and I also picked up something pretty special so look forward to that next video in the coming weeks as I compile all that footage. So to the stack video for 2014, um, what you see here, I'm just going to take you through. This is my 80 and 90% over here. I didn't take these ones out of the tube. I started running out of room. These are 80% all these Canadian dimes. Then I have my 80% Canadian quarters as well as this really, really nice. And some of you have probably seen this in prior videos. Um, it is, hold on a second, a 1919 uh, five cent piece. It's beautiful, keep it in there. Um, some other uh, more uh, collectible, uh, this is 92.5 uh, King George, um, no King Edward, sorry, dimes as well. They picked up at a local coin shop in Victoria, British Columbia when I lived there. And here are tubes. This one's not quite full, but these are tubes of 20. So those are 50. These ones are quarters, so I think that's 25. Uh, and then these ones are 20 um, half dollars. And there's a combination here of 80% and 92.5%. You can see here. Um, there's a combination of those. And then I have right here my 80% $1 that range from the... Uh, more generic uh, uh, to First Nations in a canoe uh, to the right here. Give me a second here um, to the Canada Goose and then the British Columbia totem here. Then I go into uh, then I do also have a set here. It's a 1967 set um, with the with also some non silver there too. But these ones are all silver with all the animals. It's a Confederation set. Um, then I go into my American, so there's 50 uh, dimes right here. These are the Roosevelt dimes. Then I have a whole bunch of Walking Liberties uh, here. And the uh, Washington Quarters. Then I have Morgue Ann uh, and a Peace Dollar here. These nice cases. Then some Buffalo Nickels and some Barber Dimes here. Um, that's by uh, that's about a hundred ounces right there, of eighty and ninety two point five percent, and I'm going to go to the numismatics. This is all my Royal Canadian Mint stuff. What you see here, the first one is Life in the North. Then next I have the fishing, and then I have the Lucky Looney from the Olympics. Farewell to the Penny is the next one. Then I have the Limited Proof Dollar. Uh, this is a Seven Years War. And the brilliant, uh, I think this is a warp 1812 next to that. Then I go into my lunar series starting um, from the Royal Canadian Mint, starting with the dragon, two of the snakes, the horse, and my favorite, you're the goat here. Um, as many of you know from my previous videos, I also went to the mint, and this is a nice two ounce coin, the only two ounce I have. It's a scene, a forest scene. Um, and then I also have one of the half ounce Superman coins. And here is the O Canada set from 2013. And then I have the fabulous 15 right here. So those are more of the numismatic. I'll get down here to the bullion here. Um, so I have some fractional bullion pieces here. I have a silver sovereign. Um, and then here's just some bullion bars, some generics here. You can see all the generics. Then I have my American Eagles and my Canadian Maple. So there's more than a tube here. This is a tube of 2013. And then here's a mixture of them, um, as well as my one 
five ounce Mount Rushmore. Uh, these are my maples, variety of years. And then I go into here some of the Olympic coins, 25th anniversary. I have two Britannias there, the fern up here, three Philharmonics there. Um, so here are the three Olympic coins right there. Um, I also have this Montreal Olympic coin in there as well. Um, down here are the Birds of Prey. And then finally the Canadian Wildlife Series on top of the two uh, one and a half ounce, the fox and the and the grizzly bear, the polar bear, sorry. Um, and then up here I have the Takus, half ounce, one ounce, and the five ounce. The five ounce has uh, the old British uh, queen on the back, and then when it became independent recently, it got this new coat of arms on these two. Um, two horses from the British Lunar, and I am looking forward to getting a uh, year of the goat on that as well. And then I have right here a whole bunch of the um, African uh, Somali elephants. If you see two together in any of these, that means I have double of the same coin. Um, and then next to that are my pandas, starting at 2015, 2014, 1, 2013, 2012, down to 2011. Three crocs there. Then I have my koalas, 2015, 2014, 2013. And I missed 2012, though this is 2012, I missed 2011. My kooks again, 2015, 2014, 2013, 2010, and then 96. And then here are my 20 for 20s, every single one of them. Uh, they're not in any particular order here, but I do have all of them. And I have my Mexican Libertads in the one ounce, quarter ounce, and tenth. Um, and then here are my Lunars here. So you can see right here, I start up here with the Year of the Rabbit, only the one ounce. Um, and then these ones here are all 10 ounce. These are half ounce, 10 ounce, half ounce. And then this is when I started to get into the one ounce and half ounce. So the horse, I have four one ounce, one half. And the goat, one 10 ounce, four one ounce and one half. Um, and then here's a bunch of different 10 ounce bars here. So Scotiabank. Garisopa, the first edition, Year of the Horse, A Mark, and of course I have a Sunshine to end it. Um, so here's kind of a pan out on the silver here. Um, and just to let you guys know, um, my total for silver as of right now is 442 ounces. So if you look at my last year's video, I've done pretty well. Now my goal, for those of you who wanted to know my silver goal before I get into the gold, uh, my goal is 200 ounces of silver for 2014. And unfortunately I only hit 142 ounces. So I was a little shy of what I wanted to get, but there's reason to that if you look at previous videos. Um, now moving into the gold, um, I have my world's smallest gold collection here. And then I have back here the 125th Osprey, the 125th Eagle, the 0 0.5 gram Chipmunk, the 125th ounce um, Beaver, the Farewell to the Penny 125th ounce, 0 0.5 gram uh, Cougar, uh, 125th ounce Blue Nose, 125th ounce Orca, and 1 10th ounce Year of the Dragon. And then here are my larger gold coins. So um, I have a sovereign here, full sovereign. The uh, French rooster, those are eight grams and almost seven grams. Um, and then the one ounce uh, Philharmonic, one ounce year of the horse, um, tenth ounce Kruger. Um, there's the quarter, tenth, and twentieth ounce maples, this one being new. Here is the 10th ounce uh, panda and the 120th ounce panda. And then with the uh, Mexican gold, I have the 2 peso, 2.5 peso, and 5 peso. So I'm looking to finish that with the 10, and 20, and the 1. Um, then I have here the Austrian ducat, the 10th ounce American eagle. Then I have a 1 gram, um, I can't believe, remember where this is, this is Credit Suisse. Um, uh, some gold pan gold and uh, Indian incuse, uh, not incuse, uh, Indian, I can't remember what that's called, Fathom. 
uh, gold ring, just threw that in there. Uh, half sovereign here, millennium, half sovereign. Tenth, uh, one tenth ounce Scotia Bank bar, one gram PAMP, and 0 0.5 gram 2011 Australian, Australian kangaroo. And I just put this in for fun. This is not included in my count, but it's just some gold flake, just to pretty it up a little bit. Um, so my total gold, my gold goal for the year was two ounces and I actually got 2.5 ounces of gold. Um, so that's a lot better than what I was hoping to get. And my total gold is 4.5222 ounces. So four and a half ounces, all of that gold there is what you see, four and a half ounces, where if you look at my last year's video, I just had but almost two, so I've done pretty good. Um, I had two, because I've added two and a half. And then again, all of this, what you see here, it's 442 ounces of silver. So 2015, I'm looking to add 250 ounces of silver and 2.5 ounces of gold. I'm gonna see where my job takes me and hopefully save up enough money to complete those goals. I'm disappointed that I was a little bit shy on my silver this year, but I'm very happy that my gold count is 0 0.5 ounces, so half an ounce over what I expected to get.